Greetings, it's Jan again from Into the Pit. Um, last time we talked about one of my favorite thrash albums of all time, and in my opinion, one of the most brutal thrash albums of all time, Dark Angels, Darkness Descends. Now, another album that comes very close to this in terms of intensity and relentlessness um, is the one I want to talk about today. And without any further ado, um, <clears throat> This is an album, when I first heard it, I couldn't believe the ferocity. I couldn't believe the intensity of the riffs. It was, and to this day, it's, it hasn't lost any of its energy. It, a lot of people complain about the sound uh, that I got from Morris Sound. Yeah, the snare sound is a little bit irritating, but um, other than that, I think the, the guitars are menacing and uh, Carl Thomas's vocal delivery is not of this world. And um, I, I don't think they've ever touched ever come close to this intensity again. The law, uh, the follow-up to this was calmer, and um, I didn't think the, it was an improvement in the sound department, definitely not. Um, I think a lot of groups came out of Morris Sound and opted for some th another sound on the follow-up albums and didn't quite match what they got at Morris Sound. So I'm a firm believer in Scott Burns. Sure, I mean, there were a few bands that sounded similar and you could hear that, um, especially with Sepultura and Atheist, and, and you know, the, the guitar sound was similar and the drums were similar, but still, those albums aren't milestones for no reason. And um, if you also look at a band like Suffocation, for instance, you know, that effigy is just a milestone. It's, it's timeless to this day and it's enjoyable. But yes, this is it with a controversial cover of The Hanging of the Pope, done by Kent Matthew. This definitely Exorder's finest moment, if you ask me. Um, they did a new one, more than the, the Southern Skies, um, which um, I felt was a bit of a letdown. Um, it was going more into the groove thing. Um, I missed the intensity and the speed that they had on this album. And um, I was lucky enough to see them in Osnabrück in Germany, and they played every single song of this, I think. And uh, live, it was just unbelievable. No idea why Lavinia Labella is no longer part of the band. I had a long talk with him there at the show, and um, yeah, so it seemed like he was sort of steering Exorda into the future, but um, apparently not. Haven't found out what the real reason is, but maybe we'll see that soon on Blabbermouth or somewhere. <laughs> anyway, very good album. Engineered and mixed by Scott Burns, um, and. Uh, Yes, if you're looking for no holds barred, well produced, classic thrash metal, and look no further, get it. <laughs>